Hey, this is Todd Masson, editor of Louisiana Sportsman, with your daily Deepwater Horizon update. Today is day 31 of the uh, spill. It was a month ago that uh, that the Deepwater Horizon accident occurred. Um, so for a month now, we've been having uh, at least 5,000 barrels of oil a day uh, entering the Gulf 50 miles off the Louisiana coast. Um, if the 5,000 barrel per day number is correct, that's 155,000 barrels, uh, 6.5 million gallons. Um, BP has successfully inserted a pipe into the riser that is sucking some of the oil out, uh, approximately 3,000 barrels a day as of yesterday. Uh, BP has announced that they will attempt a top kill um, beginning on uh, uh, Sunday or Monday. Uh, they'll inject uh, heavy mud into the uh, into the well and follow that with cement. Uh, it is not without risk because as the uh, as the main leak is uh, is slowed or stopped, it could potentially um, cause. Uh, uh, the uh, the riser to burst uh, or cause um, other areas uh, to to fill up with pressure and to uh, to have a much much bigger spill. So we'll all be kind of holding our breath uh, to wait and see what happens with that uh, with that attempt on Sunday or Monday. Uh, big news uh, yesterday: the governor toured uh, the Venice area, north northeast, and uh, and Paso Lutra areas and. Um, and found lots and lots of heavy oil. Uh, in fact, the quote from the governor was, the day we've been fearing is upon us today. Uh, lots of pictures available on our website where you can see what, uh, what the governor and the, uh, the other officials saw. Uh, spoke to uh, one of the DWF biologists last night who said in his estimation 90% of Pasolute wildlife management area has been impacted by oil. Uh, and if you've seen the pictures, you know it's not uh, it's not a sheen, it's not tar balls, it is thick black oil. Uh, so it's obviously not a not a good deal. Uh, the governor said his biologists tell him uh, the the impacted cane down there, the roseau cane, will be dead within five to seven days as a result of the oil. Uh, so it's a it's a grave situation. Uh, during the press conference yesterday, the governor. Uh, renewed his call for the Army Corps of Engineers to uh, approve permits to allow the state to start uh, creating what they're calling a sand boom, uh, basically filling gaps in Barrier Islands and trying to uh, collect the, the oil that way, or at least stop it from moving inland into the, the coastal marshes. Uh, the governor announced that he has asked the Coast Guard to pre-position the, uh, the dredges in anticipation of approval from the Corps. Um, the sticking point now seems to be the uh, the price tag. It'll be nearly a billion dollars uh, in expenses that uh, that BP ultimately would have to pay. Obviously, the the federal government would have to foot that until B BP could pay the the government back. Um, so we'll see. Uh, it needs to happen very very soon to have any real impact. Um, also, yesterday uh, the state issued uh, some new fisheries closures. Uh, basically extending from Red Pass up to Shallan Pass uh, only in the, uh, the offshore areas. It does not include inshore areas uh, in that area. Um, and uh, as far as fishing goes, uh, by all accounts we're getting lots and lots of reports that fishing is, is just off the charts. Really, really good. Um, guessing those few weeks that the fish were not targeted at all uh, it just caused a boom. Uh, populations are, you know, obviously we didn't have fish caught for all that time, so all those fish are still in the uh, in the ecosystem. And, and uh, you know, of course, it is mid-May, and we've had some calm conditions, so you know that's it's prime time and conditions are good. So uh, not much of a tide this weekend, but uh, with the uh, with the numbers of fish out there, and, and it's supposed to be a low wind weekend, so fishing should be really really good this weekend. Um, you know, we don't know what the rest of the summer holds, so we know this weekend will be good. So I would recommend that uh, anybody who can get out and, and, and try and get some fish this weekend. All right, that's it for today. Uh, check LouisianaSportsman.com for, for updates. As soon as we find out any closures, we pass them along to you. Check the front page, LouisianaSportsman.com. And uh, as I've been encouraging you throughout this deal, know before you go what the uh, what the rules are, what areas are closed, and try and maintain contact throughout the day as you're fishing. All right, good luck this weekend. Let us know uh, 
on the reports page, post anything that you can, let us know what you saw, how your fishing was, etc. Uh, everybody's uh, uh, waiting on pins and needles to, to hear uh, how everything goes. So good luck this weekend.